Hello, in this video I'm going to teach you how to find the area of a sector as well as the length of an arc for A-level maths. And so in this video I'm going to be using radians rather than degrees, so if you're unfamiliar with radians I'll link the video I've made on that in the description, so you can go and watch that video then come back and see this one. As well as that I'm going to timestamp the different parts of the video, so if you just want to skip through to say an exam question at the end then you can. And so we'll start off by saying, well, what is a sector and what is an arc? Okay, and this is really easy. So say we take a circle like this one here, and I draw a radius on it. So I've drawn one radius, and then we're going to say the radius has a length of r. I'm now going to draw another radius like this. Okay, so it's got the same length r. And you can see now we've split the circle into two parts. Okay, we've got the part here, which I'll shade, the smaller part, and the larger part that's left. So these are sectors of my circle. Okay, the shaded one is the minor sector because it's the smaller one and the large one is the major sector because it's the bigger one. As well as that, you can kind of see that by drawing on these two radii, we've kind of split the circumference into two pieces. We've got this piece here, which is kind of trapped between the two radii and the remaining part of the circumference. So these are arcs of my circle. So the, sh the one that I've highlighted is the minor arc and the one that's left is what we call the major arc of the circle. Okay, pretty easy. So how do we go about finding the area of this sector, okay, say the minor sector, and how do we find the length of the arc? And I'm going to refer to the minor sector and the minor arc when I'm talking about this. Well, the first thing we're going to do is say, well, let's take an angle here, okay, and I'll call it theta radians, okay? That's the angle that's been created between these two radii. So to find the area of the sector, we'll start with that. So area of the sector, okay, well, say we wanted to find the area of the whole circle. Well, that's given by pi r squared, or pi multiplied by the radius squared. Okay, that's really easy. So now all I need to do is, well, we've been given a fraction of the circle, okay? For this highlighted part here, this is just a fraction of the whole circle. And what fraction is it? Well, in a full turn of this circle, okay, we've got two pi radians, which is 360 degrees. And so out of those total 360 degrees, we've got theta radians, or out of those total 2 pi radians, we've got theta radians given to us. And so we just multiply the total area by the fraction we have, and that fraction is theta divided by 2 pi, like that. Now, if you've been given this formula before, you'll probably say, well, it doesn't usually look like that. Well, if we sort of simplify it so we could rewrite it as pi r squared theta divided by 2 pi, these pi's are going to cancel out like this, and you can see we get left that the area of the sector could be written as 1 half multiplied by the radius squared multiplied by the angle theta. Okay, so that's really easy. And we can apply this same logic to calculate the arc length. Okay, so the uh, length of arc. Okay, well, we could take the total circumference of the circle, which is given by 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius, 2 pi r. And then we're going to multiply that by the fraction of the circumference we have, which is given by theta over 2 pi. Okay, and with the same sort of logic I guess we can cancel this out so we've got 2 pi r theta divided by 2 pi this 2 pi on the numerator and the denominator will cancel and we get the length of an arc which I'll just call L is equal to the radius multiplied by the angle theta okay so again pretty easy so let's now answer some questions using this okay and we'll start off with this one which says calculate the arc length of the sector below okay so we've got a sector with a radius of eight centimeters and an angle of pi by eight or pi divided by eight radians so we want the length of an arc so the formula was l is equal to the radius multiplied by the angle and so our arc length l is equal to the radius eight multiplied by pi divided by eight and so this is really easy so we get the length is just equal to pi centimeters exactly so we could write that on there as pi centimeters. Nice, easy question. Okay, let's look at a second question. And this one says, find the missing angle x in the sector and then calculate its area. Okay, and so we've been given a sector of radius eight centimeters, arc length six centimeters, and an angle of x radians that we need to find. So again, I'm going to use my formula, which is the arc length L is equal to the radius multiplied by my angle. So substituting in what we know, we get that six is equal to eight x. And rearranging for x, we get that x is equal to well, it's 6 over 8, which we could simplify to 3 over 4 radians, okay? And let's write that in now because we have that information. 3 over 4 radians. So now we can use the uh, formula for the area of a sector, and that is that the area is equal to 1 half multiplied by the radius squared multiplied by our angle. And substituting in what we know, we get 1 half multiplied by 8 squared multiplied by 3 over 4. 
And if I just work that out on my calculator, so a half multiplied by eight squared multiplied by three over four, it gives me an area of this sector of 24 centimeters squared, okay? So again, pretty easy. Let's look at one final exam question, and it says, given that S and R are sectors of circles and OA is a straight line, calculate the area of sector R, okay, which is the shaded one. So to calculate the area of the sector R, I need to know its radius and its angle, which I haven't currently got. So I'm going to start off by finding its radius. And to do that, I'm going to first look at the sector S, and I'm going to calculate the radius of sector S because that's pretty easy. So again, I'm using that the arc length is equal to the radius multiplied by the angle. And so we get that three is equal to the radius, whatever that is, multiplied by pi over four. So from here, I'm just gonna rearrange to find R. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by four and then divide both sides by pi. And I get 12 over pi is equal to the radius of S. We could call it R subscript S. So let's write that in now. So we have that this radius of S is equal to 12 over pi centimeters. So from here now, if I wanna find the radius of R, well, that's really easy. I could just say the radius of R, or let's write capital R, is gonna be equal to, well, the total length of those two sectors is eight. And I know the radius of S is 12 over pi, so I'm gonna do eight subtract 12 over pi. And that gives me, let's work it out, eight subtract 12 over pi. 4.18 centimeters. Okay, so I found the radius of R and that is going to be, if I write it in here, 4.18 centimeters like so. Okay, pretty easy. And now we just need to find the angle that is given to us in R. So I'll draw on this angle here. And so we know that OA is a straight line. And so on a straight line, we have 180 degrees or pi radians. And out of those pi radians, we have pi by four here. So this remaining angle is going to be pi subtract pi over four which is gonna be three over four pi radians as our angle. And I could write that in here, although it might not be too clear, three over four pi. So now we can use our formula for the area, which says the area again is equal to one half multiplied by the radius squared multiplied by the angle. And substituting in what we know, we have one half multiplied by 4.18 squared multiplied by the angle, which is three over four pi. And so if I just put that into my calculator, we get 0.5 multiplied by 4.18 squared multiplied by three over four pi, okay? And if we work that out, we get that it's equal to an area of 20.58 centimeters squared. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe, and share, and go over to my channel for tons more A-level math tutorials. Thanks for watching.